What's up, gaming? Welcome back to the Geeset system. Uh, today I'm gonna be reacting to some hot takes, okay? So we're gonna react to hot takes from Midman himself, the Midsin system. He's been doing a lot of research lately, making a lot of polls. Oh, let me go pull up one of these polls now. Hold on. This dude put AAI1, DGS1, DGS2, and AAI2 in the same poll because he knew what you were gonna vote for. He knew you were going for A. This guy's killing. This guy is killing me. So, Let's take a look at some of his hot takes, okay? It's his hot takes channel. This is for discussion. This is for discussing and we are gonna do some discussing. Some discussing. So let's start with some first point, okay? Let's start with the first point from Mr. Midsin Man himself. We're talking about Athena and how, like, wait, okay. This is what convinced me to start doing this. Cause look at, like, let's get the hot take. Look at this. Look at what he's gonna respond to on the screen right now. If Athena were to get her own game, I'd like to see her grow into this niche role by solving cases around mental health and disorders. What a hot take. What a hot take. The worst mechanic of all time, the Moon Matrix. This is where we are going. So what do we got? What do we got for this? What does he have in response to this? I put up like a thread and I might link it in the description if I can on some ideas I had on how they could actually implement Athena, right? And one of them would be is I wouldn't have made Athena a lawyer. I would have made her a new employee at the agency. And so what you do is you would take like these clients, you know, these witnesses and you take them back to the agency, which would give you a reason to go back because nine times out of 10, there's no reason to go back to the agency. And you could get them to see Athena and then you could have this logic chess like therapy session with them. And then you could get a psych profile made on them because the only psych profile we see ever made is of the Phantom, right? The only psych profile we ever see is from the Phantom. Why? Okay, everything about this is driving crazy. Like, go back to the agency to get a logic chess psych profile for why? It's to make her useful because she's useless. You know she's useless. We know she's useless. She, she. <laughs> this answer is like Athena. Pack your bags, man. Like, okay. Do you remember how they had to make Apollo's stupid bracelet be part of the investigations? Cause like everyone knew that shit was dumb. It shouldn't be in court. Well, then this is just what we're doing for Athena now. Me, Athena, why don't we just kind of mm, shove you a little out of, get out of the way, get out of the way. You know, I also love the fact that it has to be at the agency. No one goes back to this fucking agency. <laughs> That's why we have to put her there because god forbid you'd ever have to go back unless you're just forced there for a cutscene oh my god keep going i keep going let's see her. more hot takes more hot takes um for free would have been better if clavia was the suspect and darian was the prosecutor does it make darian obvious sure but that hasn't stopped other cases from being good Plus, it's a good callback to turn about goodbyes, as both cases, penultimate cases. Great, we're talking about Apollo Justice now. And listen, I don't want to shit on the commenters, okay? They're cool, all right? The person I'm really after is the Midsin system, okay? I have to destroy you. So, putting aside the fact that I don't even think that making Clavier or anything in that case would have made it better. I think that shit was a dumpster fire, independent of who the prosecutor was, really. <laughs> but, you know what? You do you. But let's see what our good friend has to say about this. Think. And I say this as a big Clavia stand, and I kind of, I repped him in the previous video. Clavia is at his best in Turnabout Serenade, in my opinion. Clavia in case three is like so personally invested because this is his concert that got messed up. You know, you, you see like a shift in his priorities. Like you get to see this character kind of come out of his shell a bit. Like this is what pisses him off. You see like even one of my favorite moments is that like, when he, walks in, when he walks in and then his guitar's on fire, he drops all the pretenses, like no hair forehead. He's like, Apollo, is this you? You do this? Yeah, bro, he was so pissed off in that case. I remember when Clavier's famous pissed off face, when he made the stank face when they were inside his office. Man, that he really came out of his shell there. <laughs> he really, really blew himself out of that shell. You know, if Clavier was so determined, then why were his arguments in court all fucking dog shit? Maybe he should get determined to make some good arguments, because all I saw in that case was him fucking around the whole time. It's so weird. 
talking about character moments in this series. The case is not divorced from how Clavier performs in that case. Like Clavier as a character doesn't just disappear when he has to make arguments in court. If anything, that's where it should matter the most because his arguments enforce the gameplay, how you have to think, how you have to answer his questions. The fact that he made such shitty fucking arguments throughout mo like, most of the whole case is what makes it fundamentally not work. Case structure fucking matters. It matters with how you view these characters because this is where they get to perform. This is where they get to shine. It's this courtroom. That's what we have all this build up for, is for this. And if they blow it, then I don't know how changing all these small things with these characters and these roles are gonna fix anything. Uh, I just wanna take a moment real quick uh, to just say, I don't mean any hate toward the Mason system, but I'm gonna put his video in the description to credit him. Um, but I don't mean any hate, you know, uh, even though Apollo Justice is mid, and I do think that with uh, all my heart, you know, no hate to him uh, or, or his videos, definitely no hate. Uh, don't go harass him, please. In his, in his description, I put the video there. That wouldn't be good. Uh, anyway. Oh, he dropped the guitar. He put the little guitar on fire. Is this you? Did you <laughs> do this? Apollo, he doesn't even call him Air Force head you know that would be a good character moment it, oh man this would be a great moment for my classic apollo and clavier trapped in the elevator <laughs> um, apollo uh, did you do <laughs> oh man and this is more better described as a wild take than a hot take it's something i've seen ne never seen anyone other than me say clavier probably should have been the prosecutor for chan about reclaimed for these three reasons so we got three reasons let's go it would have been poetic for the last prosecutor he faced. Okay, I get that. It's widely agreed that Clavier was done dirty post Apollo Justice. Giving him a case would help. I agree. I think Clavier could have been a cool prosecutor for Tunaba Academy. He has so many interesting ties to the case that having Athena and Apollo bounce off Clavier would be really interesting. It also would have been just nice. I think it would have been nice to have Apollo and Clavier face off again, personally. Like, that is his rival, you know? Like, you know, you have your Phoenix here, Edgeworth, like... Well, what's anyway the like this fucking thing about the rival like oh my god you know <laughs> does it fucking matter who's in their prosecutor spot it's not like the logic's gonna change for how they respond you know what i mean who gives a shit you really put fucking anybody there it doesn't matter what the difference is gonna make when athena makes an argument and then black wolf shuts it down versus clavier shutting it down the way you solve these cases it's like follows the same methodology so the responses will be the same if they're right <laughs> you know what again is the more i think about this the more i just keep thinking about like how would clavier react if turned by the academy happened in the elevator <laughs> I mean, uh, Air Forehead, did Phoenix really point? You know, I don't really engage with the Ace Attorney community at all. It's just so weird hearing people talk about the games like this. It's like crazy to me. <laughs> like, like, it's just weird that these are the solutions to improve the games. It's like, what if Clavier stepped up instead of, of uh, what's his name, Black Quill? But then you're just like, why was Clavier even there in the first place? Why did he need to reenact the stupid trial? Man, it's like there's just so many pacing issues with Turnabout Academy. That is like insane to me that we we could get stuck on this. That this like weird minor change that doesn't mean anything. What like what is going on? When people play these games. Really, I just can't understand it. I can't understand it at all. <laughs> this blows my mind. You're allowed to be wrong. So loudly though, with two upvotes, that doesn't feel right. Hot take: Edgeworth is actually kind of boring. Not bad, but just not as interesting as the, the rest of the main cast. Sometimes a re on a really bad day, he's my least favorite trilogy main prosecutor. All right, let's get let's let's shoulder the burden together. No, oh, we're really doing this. We're really doing this. Ah, this is it. Oh my God, you you better be careful where you go, Midson man. I know your game. And of course, the first frame is this game, this specific game. He knows what he's up to. He knows what he's doing. Do not trust him. Do not trust his system. I don't even know what the Mason system is, really, if you think about it. Who's running this system? Is it Apollo? Is that who it is? Apollo and his spiteful self with his poles? Is that who it is? Is that who's trying to run the Mason system? Hmm? Edgeworth is, for lack of a better term, a show stealer, right? When he shows up, attention from everybody else is sucked right away. I've seen enough of him. I know his gimmick. Especially, I started to get sick of him around the investigation games. He's like, all right, cool. He's a bit uptight. He loves to steal samurai. Um, I care about the truth. And that's it. Like, obviously, he's got the trauma with the elevator thing, you know, DL6. He's got his uh, sister, Francisca, who I think is a bit more of an interesting character. Edgeworth is 
arguably the the second main character of the series. First of all, I agree. Edward uh, fucking is annoying. <laughs> I don't really give a shit about his backstory at all. You're breathing my air! No, Yenny. I just think that the characterization and atmosphere of Edgeworth in Dual Destiny's Case 5 really informs Athena's struggle. But anyway, I feel like it's the same situation with Clavier. Half these prosecutors don't fucking matter anyway. You could literally substitute them with anybody, it wouldn't matter. Like, it's the final case, he's just gonna fucking lose. Who gives a shit? What do you want as the substitute? Like, what was Blackwell really- anyway, anyway. It just is stupid. I just think the whole thing is stupid. Like, this whole idea that these different prosecutors really matter. Like, I mean, I said it already, but at the end of the day, these guys are just gonna fucking lose to insert defense attorney here, really. So whether it was Edgeworth, which I guess you're sick of, or, you know, some other mid-prosecutor, doesn't really matter that much. Really. It just matters how good their arguments are. That's about it. It's a DGS stuff, man. Um, Recipe for the Turnabout is one of the best cases in the series for me. I enjoy it. Knightley is an underrated culprit. Yeah, he was cool. I like the chess gimmick. Um, Athena is one of the one of the least favorite characters and is probably my least favorite of the playable characters. Half of my dislike is comes from the fact that she made Trucy irrelevant. Mm. Don't say it out loud. Not too loud now. You're just right. Athena showed up and then a Trucy died. Right, like Athena hurt Apollo a little bit. Athena killed Trucy. Right, and nobody talks about that. Right. Athena killed Trucy. Athena killed Trucy. What was Trucy fucking doing before this happened? You know what Trucy did in the second case? <laughs> I hate this so much. What the fuck was Trucy fucking doing? Nothing. She does nothing. These helpers are worthless. She only does one thing. She forges evidence and fucking gives you the thing you need to win the case. She fucks up a case for you. Oh my god, Trucy. Oh my god, Trucy. I can't believe it. She fucked up a fucking case for me. Wow, that's so awesome. And then in the second case, we're stuck with his stupid panties. The panties. Like, <laughs> man, Trucy's thunder was shining out there. What was gonna, what did you want? <laughs> we're, did Athena get in the way of the, Trucy, you're my sister. Okay. <laughs> this is what Athena took from us, guys. It took away another useless, like, what Athena just shows is that there's so much bloat in this cast of people who don't fucking do anything that it's ridiculous. I hate Athena because her gameplay is awful, but like at least she brought gameplay. Trucy actively removes gameplay when she shows up. This dude is so- you're so mid Paulo pilled. This is mid Paulo all the way. We have hit mid Paulo central. Apollo has set up the law offices of mid and justice and you have walked right in and drank his Kool-Aid. Because this is wild. Disagree. That's my hot take. Boom. Hot take. Athena stole no thunder because no thunder existed to be stolen. I'm not sure if this is a hot take, but I don't like Sherlock Holmes that much. Um, he's a fun character, but people seem to really love him. Um, I don't like how OP he is. His contribution is basically Deus Ex Machina. Sherlock Holmes is an inconsistent super detective that diminishes the accomplishments of the other characters, whose antics tend to clash with the tone of the rather grounded storytelling. I agree. Yeah. Okay, I like how he gets to the fucking- <laughs> You can tell there was a read more underneath this comment and he just went, nah, nah, we gotta take a little bit of some scissors and just snip, 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 slice, slice, slice. We're gonna get rid of all that text and we're just gonna leave the meat. Herlock Sholmes fucking blows. True, true, actually true. Fuck Herlock Sholmes. All my homies hate Herlock Sholmes. Garbage, garbage. Woo! All right, that's all the hot takes that seem to exist. Uh, well, this is a reminder that we mean no hate here on this channel. Do not go harass him. I'll put a link to the original video in there. <laughs> uh. And this is where we introduce a new mechanic, unlockables.